em algum momento desse vídeo, no início, eu tinha simplesmente esquecido de ligar a ring light, porque eu sou um burro. Então, no início, o vídeo estava escuro. É. Você conhece kibe? Você já comeu kibe? Você conhece, mas nunca comeste? Comenta aqui, porque o vídeo de hoje é sobre kibe. <risos> Eu nem faço mínima ideia do que que seja também. E salve, Clayton! Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo desse canal. E se você ainda não é um Clayton, se inscreva já nesse canal e torne-se um Clayton. Clayton são pessoas que estão escritas aqui nesse canal. Então você se inscreve já e ajuda esse canal a atingir a meta de 6 mil inscritos antes do mês acabar então muito obrigado já as pessoas que são membro desse canal um salve para o Álvaro Tavares e o José Carlos Machado esses aqui são as pessoas que apoiam esse canal são as pessoas que são membro desse canal e se você quer se tornar um membro hum, 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 são só cinco reais <risos> E o link está aqui na descrição caso você queira se tornar membro e querer ajudar esse canal. Mas se você não tiver 5 reais, não se preocupa. Você pode ajudar esse canal apenas com like e comentário. É só comentar aqui, engajar o vídeo, partilhar. Isso hum, é uma ajuda muito grande que você vai estar tá dar nesse canal aqui. Não esqueça de comentar. De, onde, de qual região você é, porque nós precisamos saber onde que esse canal tá chegando. Então, vocês sabem como é que é esse canal? Esse canal aqui é o único, mas o único canal do YouTube que é ser mais que, 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 3, 2, 1 e play! Doggy, go for poop. Ah, uh, <risos> não, amigo, no way! Oi! Oi. Eu sou a Mar, e hoje eu convidei alguns dos nossos amigos gringos para provar mais uma daquelas comidinhas de boteco deliciosas do nosso Brasil. Hoje Brasil. é a vez dos nossos amigos gringos conhecerem o Kibi. Uma comida de boteco. Eu queria agradecer a queridíssima Angélica do Happy Hour Foods que forneceu uhum. esses kibis deliciosos para os nossos amigos gringos provarem. Se você quer conferir as outras delícias que ela faz, segue ela no Instagram, o link tá aqui na descrição. Agora vamos conferir o que, que os nossos amigos gringos acharam do Kibi. Hello, Olá. amigos, how are you? My name is Ross, hello, I'm from Dublin, in Ireland. I'm Vivi, from Greece. Mazinha has sent me some even more food. She's a very bad influence, guys. Don't get friends that send you food. Very bad, I wouldn't recommend it. Live Uh, essa já é a terceira ou quarta vez que eu reajo o vídeo desse canal e um dos personagens que eu simplesmente amei é a Vivi. Não, a Vivi é incrível. Ela parece uma brasileira, ela é energética. Them all to you, right? Oh, oh leave it all to me, exactly. Yeah, remember, 247 Salga Genius. We're gonna try Kibe? Kibe. Yeah, Kibe. Kibe. Não! Não! Kibe! Kibe! That's what I said this, the fourth time. Kibe, I don't know, but I'm very anxious to try this. Another delicacy from Angelica, from Happy Hour Foods. Today you're gonna try another salgadinho, another... Podem comentar aqui do que que é feito o kibe. Pra quem já comeu, por favor, comenta aqui do que que é feito o kibe. Eu quero muito saber quais são os ingredientes e talvez quem sabe fazer em casa. Oh, but I'm very anxious to try this. Another delicacy from Angelica from Happy Hour Foods. Today you're gonna try another salgadinho. Parece another algo snack. feito com leite kibe? condensado. Maybe you've seen it like kibe. It's actually a Middle Eastern dish, oh, mm. right? Is it specifically from Lebanon? But we also did have a lot of Lebanon immigrants in okay. Brazil. Ah, eu pensei so que é do Brasil. Brought by the Lebanese immig immigrants in the late 19th and early 20th century. Sure. And of course, we made it our own. <laughs> ah, os so brasileiros. Yeah. Like snack bars, of course, street food stalls, even high street, high end restaurants. Wow. And it can be served in different forms. But our the most popular one is the one you're gonna try today, which is like a snack. Eu pensei que fosse um doce, o kibe. I, mean, I think I've eaten the really, really large version of this. Oh, that's what you got. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we have, that is true. We have big versions. We also make like the baked kiwi in a big tray. Yeah. But mm -hmm. today you're trying the snack version. Why do you go for poop? <laughs> no, I'm leaving. No, you are no, going to destroy no. kiwi for a lot of people right now. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, oh they, smell, they smell like meatballs. <laughs> so let's see what they are. Dig in. Agora me deu vontade de comer. Meu Deus, tá me dando na boca. It was the larger version, and also there was lemon or lime. Look. Oh, yes, it's lovely with lime. Yeah, you gotta open it up and just gotta sprinkle it in, and it just tastes unbelievable mixed in. Oh, and mm. this, it's as good as any I've ever tasted. Really, really good. Kibe, absolutely wonderful. Oh. Don't you like the crunchiness around it? Love it. This is a competition mm. between myself. <laughs> between me and myself. Because usually I'm able to distinguish the flavor or some some ingredients. So the uh, crunchiness, where does that come from? Uh, it's, it's, I was gonna yeah. ask you if you had any idea. So you know it's like minced beef? Yes. Yes. It smells like meat the first time. I love the crunchiness. Oh, keep it. Is that yeah. deep fried or in okay, the oven? I have no idea uh, what. Can you vegan no body come in? What do you mean the main ingredient there? <laughs> the main everything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying. It's the first time. And the the main ingredient there, which I think makes all the difference, is the bulgur wheat. Trigilio? No way. What is trigilio? It's like. I'm making meatballs, homemade meatballs at home. Like yeah, but it's a meat and, and, uh, and the herbs. Yeah, so there is minced meat. Big, yeah. Oh, there is? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, because we don't use fine burger. We use like really, what do you say, like thick or coarse yeah. burger? Yeah, coarse, yeah. 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 yeah, that gives it that texture. So you have to hydrate it like the, the burger. And mm. then once it's hydrated, then you mix with the other ingredients. There's so much love. I just love the arrangement. I love the fact that it takes so long. I don't know. It's just there's a lot, just a lot of time. I'm always convinced mm. that people in Brazil have more hours in the day than everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't have any time to do any of this. Yeah. But you guys Get always it. seem to find four hours in the day to just sit around in your sandals, listening to certain Asia and just making <laughs> shit in the kitchen. And I'm like, uh, I've got seven minutes left to go to work. Oh, I guess it's time to go home. Uh, time to go to bed. But you guys are just. Não, mas agora que eu penso nisso, cool. tipo, os americanos so estão sempre it's a really trabalhar, parece que não tem descanso. Uh, like this perception that you yeah. have, you know? You guys slow time down. And this is the Brazilian contribution in it, or... I don't, I, I think that they do it with uh, burger as well. But oh, mas trigo ou triguilho, afinal. Yeah. And we can make like a... Plate? A tray? Yeah. yeah. You know, and do like a baked version mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, but usually like uh, minced beef, bulgur wheat, a uh, mix of herbs and spices like mint, onions, garlic, you can put... Um, mint is very common in the Lebanese version, of course. That's mm. why, because I was about to say that I smell the mint. I smell like herbs, herbs. I'm not sure, because the Greek meatballs, we add some bread. I'm not sure if it has bread. Maybe that's why it's more crusty, which is which I love. And I you can wow. just dip that, you know, in garlic or, or yogurt, plain yogurt. <laughs> I love it. Wow, it's so good. So good, right? And I think that the crunchiness of the crust actually around is because of the bulgur, mm. to be honest. Yeah, because they... It's not breaded or anything. No, no, no. So a lot of influence as well in some parts of the country from that culture. We still have a lot of like Syrian or Lebanese restaurants around. And kibe would be one of the things yeah. you would find there. No, no. I just think it's absolutely fantastic that that makes it over there. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I just love the fact that there's a smaller version of this because the one I had in Brazil was almost like the shape of an Easter egg. This is Salcadinho perfection. There's nothing that can be added to it apart from even a lime. I mean, but we're not going to just like, <laughs> get just a load, a load of limes or lemon here to hand. But that's what I do. A little bit. And everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm back and I'm like, you know, I have a, this excellent menu today. I love every dish because this exactly, that could be entirely from another culture, but 
you make it, you know, the same way you made the cochinias, you know, and everything. And I love um, this, the crust, you know, on the outside. Mm -hmm. In my culture, like it's it's a bit different. No, it's more soft. Like I love this. I love crunchy stuff. I love I love it. I love it. Even the sound of it. You know, it's just like if it's soft, entirely soft. You need some texture. I mean, oh, <laughs> yeah. big time, big time, big time. My daughter is the same. If yeah. it's uh, oh, if it's uh, soft, there is no way she'll eat it. This, for example, she can chew it like because it's it's a uh, hard, you know, to well, hard. No, I want to prove it. It's just what she's talking about. But I'm going to give her a And it's a ten. <laughs> Most definitely a 10. 10 out of 10. Angelica, no. thank you. She, that means that we want to see me again trying Angelica's of... food or any, any Brazilian fantastic restaurant. Use the hashtag Volta Ross, Volta Gringos. Please, Volta V. And also <laughs> check me out on my Instagram handle, Talk to Ross, where it's more about Irish history and culture. But if that's your kind of thing, then make sure to check me out there. And thanks very much. See you soon. Thank you so much. Eu quero provar o kibe, meu Deus. Olha, quem tiver a receita, é só comentar aqui a receita. E também, se vocês quiserem, eu posso reagir mais vídeos desse tipo aqui. São vídeos que eu gosto de assistir, né? E acredito que vocês também estão a comer enquanto vocês me assistem. Comenta aqui o que, que você achou do vídeo. Não esquece de deixar o like. Se você quiser se tornar membro, tá à vontade. Seja membro, tá ativo. São 5 reais. Não esquece também de se inscrever. Caso você não for inscrito, se inscreva para ajudar esse canal a atingir a marca dos 6 mil inscritos. É isso, tamo juntos. Até o próximo vídeo. Beijinhos.